Watch how easy it is for me to convert a WAV file to an MP3 file using Replay Converter. Uh, I've got the program open. This is the main user interface right here. First thing I need to let it know is what files I want to convert. I can do one or I can do many at the same time um, as long as I'm converting them all to the same format. So I have just clicked on Add Files. It actually took me out to my desktop that had a folder called Replay Converter Files in it. Um, very clever title, I knew. And I'm just going to click on this first WAV file. Um, if I wanted to click on more than one, I could, but right now I'm just going to do one. It brings it into the interface. It tells me this is the file, actually, and if you want, you can see I can scroll over and it'll show me that that's the name of the file. And it tells me that it's pending because it's waiting to convert. Um, I can uh, now tell the program where I want the converted file to go. It can go to the same folder. Um, where the original is, or I can just designate a new folder by clicking on this and going out to my computer and finding a new folder. But personally, I just assume keep it in the same folder, keep all those files together. So I'm going to click on same folder. I'm not converting video, I'm converting audio, so this little bubble is checked. And then I need to choose what target format I want to convert to. And as I explained, I'm going to show you wave to MP3. So I've got the MP3 CD quality option checked. But if I wanted to do something else, um, I can either choose from the four or five formats that are um, defaulted and put in the program here, or I go all the way down to this little drop, the bottom of the drop down menu where it says add more audio formats. And I can choose from a variety of formats that are listed here, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, but. I knew I just want the MP3 CD quality. And remember, you cannot improve the quality of your original by trying to convert it at a higher quality than it is. Does that make sense? Like, you know, if my, my thing is at CD quality, I convert it to CD quality, it doesn't lose any quality. But if the, the original audio file that I'm trying to convert is less than CD quality and I use the CD quality setting, then what am I going to get? I'm going to get the same non-CD quality that I had. It, 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 yeah, just so that you know that. Anyway, enough of the little lecture. So uh, here we go. So it's pending. I got everything checked. Same folder. Convert to audio. That's the right to target format. So then I just click go. Replay Converter has a progress bar. So it brings up the little progress bar. And it shows me by these little blue rectangles how quickly my WAV file is converting to an MP3 file. And so I'm going to let it finish. It is finished. And how do I know? Well, aside from the fact that my progress bar disappeared, my status now says done, which is cool. So, and another cool trick is all I got to do is right click on it, go down to open current target folder, click on that. It brings up the folder there, you know, where the original was and also where I said I wanted the um, converted file to go. It's right here. See, it says MP3. The other one still says wave. So I'm going to click on that, double click on it, and play it for you. You are here and warm. Isn't that a lovely little song? Anyway, so that is it. So go out there and convert some WAV files and have a great time. Thank you.